You ever have your heart broken? No, nah, you can't break my heart. I told my, oh, no. Nah. Okay. But see, I'm Superman. <laughs> I've been that guy. Heart can't get broke. How? If you stay up, nobody can't break your heart. And they ain't just financial. If you your best version of you, you can't get your heart broke because your energy is in you. Mm -hmm. Anytime your heart is broken, you have allowed too much energy into that person. That's why you got to let God be your accountant because he'll tell you how much of your energy to put into somebody. If you too, put too much money into a stock and it crash and it crash your bank account, you shouldn't put that much out there. Okay. But if you keep your energy in you, your heart can't be broke because God's going to be your accountant. You're going to know how much energy to put into that. All to put out what God tell you to put out there. He going to tell you. You're going to feel like this person don't deserve all that. So I'm not going to give them. So when they leave, that was just tax money anyway. That was tax energy. But when you're trying to build this relationship and you're working on this, now you ain't even reading the word. God like, okay, so go ahead and work on that. Watch how I tear it up. I don't, I'm going to tear your heart into pieces and embarrass you. You got God say, put yourself first. You're going to control every situation. The energy in you. Let me put that in no man. Sirach chapter 26, verse 7. An evil wife is a yoke shaken to and fro. He that have hold of her is as though he held on a scorpion. I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Raka, Kodash, forgive me the spirit, to do this lesson. As you see in the video before, you have a comedian, Country Wayne, okay, and he was spot on. Everything he said was spot on, man. Okay, 100%. And if you look at the women in that video, you can see the eyes, you know, the spirit is behind the eyes. You can see it get all flustered and they don't like that, man. Okay, because naturally they have Satan on them to do what? To control the situation. Okay, to basically take your nuts from you and be the leader and be the head. All right, and drive the ship like Eve. Okay, and that ship is going to sail right to hell, basically. Okay, so when he told them heart broke, they didn't like that shit. Like, what do you mean you can't get your heart broke? So the way he was talking, when he brought up God being your accountant and where your energy is put, that's very true, man. Okay, I've said this a million times, man. Okay. On videos and to brothers in person, man. You might have a brother who have a situation. You cannot make the woman the centerpiece of your happiness, period. That's man in general, okay? Then you have the man that's in the truth that have to serve the Lord. That's another level, all right? That's another level of awareness you have to have in this truth when it comes to women, man, okay? The scriptures are written for our learning, you go all the way back to Adam, okay? And then throughout the generations of the Hebrew Israelites, you see the big mistakes that we have made with women, okay? Getting trapped. King Solomon, King David, Samson. I can keep going, all right? Let's read it again. Sirach 26, verse 7. An evil wife is a yoke shaken to and fro, okay? Meaning you can't contain her, okay? And the average wife... On the earth, the average woman is evil, man. Okay? The scriptures do not lie. Through her, we all die. The scriptures do not lie. He that have hold of her is as though he held on to a scorpion. Right, man? Nothing but trouble and problems and distractions. That's why Paul said what he said, man. Okay? So that you can focus on the Lord, man. Those who have wives, be as though you have none. Okay, you have to put the energy in you. Put yourself first. Okay, not first before the Lord, but first when it comes to women. So when he said that, he was spot on. Okay, let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 26. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets, a trap. Okay, a snare and a net, it traps you. Like going fishing, you put that net down, you want to trap the fish. Okay, and that's what they do, man. They dangle that worm, okay, that food, their flesh, their beauty, which a lot of them ain't beautiful. They're put on for the most part, okay, and they suck you in that way, and you want to bite. As soon as you get that bite, you fall into it, they're working on your mind the whole time, okay, pretending, pretending to be a wife, pretending to be humble and nice and sweet, and as soon as you get involved, Okay, and get deep into that woman, then all the demons come out and trap you. Okay, you might have a kid, you might have, you know, they trap you in, man. 
All right. That's the average woman. That's what she does. Okay. So it says nets and bands and her hands as bands. Whoso pleases Yahweh Bashim Abishai shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Right, man. Heart broken. Your spirit broken. Okay. And you know what it looks like. A man that spirit is broken. Okay. A lot of these guys spirit are broken to the point where they committing suicide, man. And they can have money. They can have a business. Okay. But they got so entrapped and so engulfed in that demon that they didn't care about what they had. All right. Because they made the woman the centerpiece of their happiness. Why they exist is because of her. That's a very, very demonic, unhealthy way of thinking. Okay? And like he said, the higher power will tear it up, man. You want to invest all your energy into her like that? Okay, watch me tear it up. And he's absolutely correct. Okay? That's why it says, the sinner shall be taken by her. Okay? <laughs> Can't make this up, man. The scriptures does not lie when it talks about women and the dangers of women. Okay, we hear it from the beginning, from Adam and Eve, man. I'm going to keep saying that, man, because you got guys who don't have experience with women. Maybe they just came into the truth and just found out, and they're watching the videos, and they need to hear this, man. Okay, more so. They have no experience. They think every woman that smiles at them is, is gold, and because she's speaking, you know, she sounds humble. They think right away she's the woman for life. They don't know better. Okay, but men of experience, we understand. We can look at women and be like, oh, she's full of shit. She's acting. Okay, we're very observant when it comes to the spirit because we know what the scriptures say. We use the scriptures first. Okay, let's go to Sirach 26 verse 14. A silent woman. Okay, a silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. And there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. Okay, and these women do not want their mind instructed. These independent women. Okay, so how can you get with that, these average women like that, okay, and make her the centerpiece? Well, she is going to destroy you. She is going to take down your empire. And I ain't even talking about a business. Okay, which well, she'll do that, but the empire of self, man. Okay, your inward man, she'll take you down. She will completely take you down, man. Chew you, use you, and spit you out, and go to another man and open up her legs and do the same thing. Okay? And if he let it happen, she'll do it to him and go to another man and do the same thing. And she'll leave a trail of kids, a trail of pain. One of the guys probably dead. One of the guys probably in prison because he lost his mind because he made her the centerpiece of his happiness. Okay? So he's absolutely correct. Okay? At this point in the game, you should not get your heart broke at all whatsoever. Okay? I get it. You know, you invest time and energy and a woman screw you over, you're going to be pissed off. But broken is broken, like completely broken and distraught. Okay, you should not be surprised, man. The demons, the amount of demons, the legion of demons that are on these women out here, man. We see it clearly. Yahweh Bashim Abishai is putting it on display. <laughs> okay, online, man. Okay, that's him doing that, man. He controls everything on the earth. Okay, let's go to Sirach 25, verse 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Right, man. Okay. Through her, we all die. Okay. Period, man. And when your spirit is broken, it's like you walking dead, man. And anything can happen from that point. Okay. Even physical death. Okay. Way too many stories on the earth. Especially in 2022, man. Goodness gracious, man. A lot of these guys are losing their life left and right because of this woman. They got in too deep. And some of them tried to distance himself. And the woman like, nope. You was in too deep, man. They getting ran over by cars. They getting set on fire. All kinds of shit is happening, man. Okay? So these women are very, very dangerous at this point. 
okay, on a high, high spiritual level, okay, and you got to be spiritual to see it. The woman is a huge part of this war, huge for men, okay? Let's go to First Edges chapter 4. I just started verse 20. A man leave his own father that brought him up in his own country and cleave unto his wife. He sticketh not to spend his life with his wife and remembereth neither father nor mother nor country. By this also you must know that women have dominion over you. Do you not labor and toil and give and bring all to the woman? Right. So the women are exploiting that now in this time. Okay, on a whole nother level, man. Yeah, you had wicked women back in the day in ancient times, sure. Nothing new under the sun. But the evil of women has reached an all-time high. Okay, evil in general, but the woman is a big part of that, man, along with the devil, the serpent. Okay, so naturally, a man, he wants to take care of a woman, naturally. Okay, he wants to do this, make this happen, you know. So the woman... With her beauty, a lot of the times fake beauty, exploits that, gets the man all into her, okay? And she don't even respect the man at all. Then he's chasing his tail, looking for that respect every day. And she ain't giving him no respect, okay? Though he's doing this for her, that for her, she don't give a damn. Okay, like I said, she'll chew him, smack, suck on the fingers and spit him out and walk away and look for another sucker to do it. Lick him, do the same thing, walk away. Okay, because we live in a structure where there's no consequences. Okay, so the point is, your heart being broke, man, it's very, very dangerous in this time, man. Because these women have no consequences, and they know it. No accountability, and they know it. The system is for them to ruin your life. The system supports them to ruin your life, day in and day out. Okay, that's why we need a new kingdom, a new world. Okay, fast. All right, because everything is dying, man. Structure, everything's backwards and gone, man. All right, let's go to 23. Yeah, a man take of his sword and go of his way to rob and to steal, to sell upon the sea and upon rivers. And you know the dangers of the sea. Okay, these men are going crazy, man, over women, man. People who have jobs out there. You know, for five, six months, fishermen, you know, bring back certain foods and stuff for businesses. Man, the dangers of the sea, but they'll do it just for her. Okay, robbing, stealing, they'll do that just for her, risk their life. All right, going to a goddamn store to rob and get shot up by the owner because he he been shooting, he been shooting at the shooting range for years, so he already ready for it. I didn't see multiple situations lately of that, man. They getting shot up going in there, man. You think they doing that for themselves? No. They're doing that for a woman or to be in position for a woman, which is still for a woman at the end of the day. Okay? And that woman don't give a damn. Okay? She'll suck all your money, you'll go to jail, you'll die, and she'll go to another man. All right? Verse 24. And look upon a line... And go up in the darkness, and when he hath stolen, spoiled, and robbed, he bringeth it to his love. Do you see that, man? Okay. And you know what she'll do? He'll do all that, and he'll wait for a pet on the head, and she'll give him that same look like those women on that video, man. Like, mm, yeah, nigga, whatever. Mm -hmm. Is that all you got? That's what she'll do. And then he like, damn, she ain't. She don't look happy. Then he go to do some other shit. This whole time his spirit is low. He's weak. He's become a servant to a woman. Matter of fact, let me keep reading. That's coming up. That's the spirit. Verse 25. Wherefore a man loveth his wife better than father or mother. Yeah. Many there be that have run out of their wits. Right, man. Out of common sense. Out of their mind for women. And become servants for their sakes. Okay, so we live in a time now, in 2022, that women expect you automatically to be a servant, automatically, right away. Open my door, pay the bill, 
pay the food. Okay? Buy me some shoes. Buy me a purse. Rub my back. Cook. No, nigga, make you a sandwich. Matter of fact, make me one. That's how they think. Okay, they want you to be traditional and then they want to be modern demons. Okay, verse 27. Many also have perished, have erred, and sinned for women. Oh my goodness. Through her, we all die. Okay, many, 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 especially now. How much more now in this time? Okay. We live in a very wicked time. So how much more now? That's happening. You can't make this up, man. So everything he said was on point. Great advice. Okay. From a two-third, great advice. Okay. But we understand here on a higher spiritual level what he's saying. Okay. And what that really means for your survival. Okay. Period, man. It's very, very serious. All you brothers out there, it is very, very, very serious right now, man. When you run across these women out here, you better be very, very careful. They don't give a shit about you. Understand that, man. Understand that. All that, I'm in love and flowers and, man. <laughs> Sit down somewhere, man. If you don't know that's over, you're not spiritual. Okay. You do not benefit with that. All right. So a quick lesson in the spirit, man, for you men out there, for you Israelite men to man up, man. Understand what we're dealing with here. Okay. And get ready for salvation. With that, I want to give my praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshai, Bashem, Rakha, Kodash. If you give me the spirit to do this lesson, double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to you, Akam out there is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.